I would like to compare working with a word processor, a common word processor, on Windows, on Linux Mint, and on OS X, and how they work with images. So in each of the operating systems, I will have an image over on the right-hand side in their common browser, the default browser, and I will have probably the most common, or at least the common word processor on the left-hand side. So right now we're in Windows. This is Windows 8.1 with Microsoft Word 2013. And I just want to bring this image in, but it's not letting me drag and drop. You would think that in you know, the year 2013, it's actually 2014, but 2013 when they made this, drag and drop would work. It doesn't. I can right click on it. I could hit copy, come over here and just paste it in. And there it is. Now, let's say I want to go ahead, I'm going to shrink this down. One thing that's nice is it assumes proportional. Almost always you're going to want your pictures to be proportional. You can do it otherwise if you want. And I can move it around. And it even has this little icon right here, which lets me change how I want it to wrap. And I want it to wrap tight. But even that isn't quite right, because now I have this big white area. What if I want it to be, you know, not that rectangle, I want to rotate it in a bit. This doesn't look quite right with all that white there, but you can go through, go to the format, go to color options, and set a transparent color, and set one color to be transparent. You can even change the spacing, but that right there looks pretty good. I could then make it bigger and move it up. But notice it doesn't let me move it off the page. Even as I'm dragging it off here, that's as far as it will go to move it off the page. There is a way to get it to do that, to make it so you could drag it up a little further, um, take away move with text, and then I can go ahead, maybe have it like this, make it even a little bit bigger if I want. If I want to rotate it, I have to bring it back down, rotate it this way, but not so bad. A couple little tricks to know, and I can go ahead and get it to work. The drag and drop didn't work, and there's actually a lot of options I didn't show you. If we go into the format, there's all sorts of artistic effects and color and corrections. Microsoft Word has just tons and tons of options here, which are really pretty powerful and pretty cool. This is Linux Mint 17 using LibreOffice Writer 4.2. When I drag it over, it does what you'd expect. It drags right over. When I go to resize, though, it doesn't know to make it proportional. Of course, I could edit undo that. And if I hold down the shift, which is pretty common in a lot of programs, I can make it be proportional. So not so bad there. I could also change the contour, the wrapping, go to contour, and it will automatically figure out. It does put it kind of close right there. If I go into picture, I could go in and change this wrap. It doesn't show it to me in real time, so I sort of just have to guess what I want and then click OK, and if I don't like that, I have to go back into picture and maybe uh, change it all here. And you could do the same thing on Microsoft Word. It also does not show it to you in real time, and I can go ahead and do that. I can move it around. It also keeps it on the page. I can't drag it off even if I wanted to, and I haven't found, just quick searching, a way for it to allow me to do that at all. But it gets even worse if I go ahead and I right-click on it and I say Rotate, it only lets me rotate it in 90 degree increments. So I could go ahead and rotate, and it's going to get worse than that even when we rotate it. The contour does not wrap with it. So here's my final document. I have a partial penguin in the wrong wrapping. I have to, to fix that. I have to go back to wrapping, take off contour, go back to wrap, put contour back on. That's just What are they thinking? That's just a mess. And again, I can't drag it off. I can't rotate it the way I'd want to rotate it. I can only rotate it in 90 degree increments. And again, yeah, I think it just messes up that wrapping completely. So this one's quite a bit of a mess here. Hard to suggest this to anybody. Next, this is OS 10. It's 10.9 Mavericks working with iWork Pages 5.2. I have the default browser here also. I'll drag it over and I can go ahead and resize it. The drag and drop works fine. It assumes proportional. I can take that off if I wanted to. It has something a little bit different than just setting one alpha. I can click on this right here and it says click a color to make it transparent, drag to make similar colors transparent. In this case I just want the white, but I can go ahead select and you can see exactly where it's going to be transparent. I could say done, but it's still not wrapping. Have to come here and to say around. 
There we go. And if I were to not do that instant alpha, I'll say reset, it would be that rectangle. I'm going to hit down. And I could go ahead and redo that instant alpha really quickly. There we go. Next thing, to rotate it, I do need to either use this rotation icon right here, or I need to know to hold down the command key, and that will let me rotate it. I could then drag it up here. It lets me go off the page if I want. I could even drag it from this one. Really nice, really simple, very much real time, very smooth. If I move it to the center, if that's where I want it, you can see there are markers to let you know, and it snaps to it. So there we go. I could snap and snap. That puts it right in the center. I can move it back up, move it off the page some. So really smooth. Downside, it doesn't have quite as many options as Microsoft Office. So Microsoft Word, I think, has more options. This one is easier. Mint with LibreOffice doesn't really have much going for it in this area. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that for many things it does work well, and unlike the other two programs, it's free. So each one does have its benefits.